I'm Graham Anderson from Australia. I'm 80 years old and I've been growing avocados for 65 years. I've travelled to most avocado countries around the world and uh, I've learned so much from different ones. I'm here in Yunnan now. I'm going to be here for another 20 years. I've been joining with farmers. We've joined a group that we're going to really build this avocado industry here in Yunnan. It's, uh, it's a new exciting experience for me too because uh, I love the people that I'm cooperating with. I think we're going to do some really wonderful things for the whole Chinese avocado industry. I'm really looking forward to spending as much time here as I can. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Hello, Pauli. It's my honor to interview you. You are a top expert about avocados. You have made a lot of achievements in this field. So what's your most proud of? I think what I'm most proud of is now that we can tissue culture the avocado rootstock so it is completely free of any diseases. That includes viruses. And we can do those in the millions in the laboratory. It is so important to get well, you're using seeds. Seeds are variable. They can bring in diseases into the country. But I guess using our tissue culture, that won't happen. But that'll take a while. We'll be using seed for a while. But I just worry where the seed comes from. It should come from trees that have been tested regularly. At home, we test all our trees every five years for any virus diseases that we know about. Now, there could be other viruses we don't know about. But again, my system in the laboratory makes sure that there is absolutely no viruses in the plants we do. We can produce a lot more plants much quickly. They're disease free and the production of the trees is higher than what we're using now. It's a good news. It is good news. Yeah. It's very good news. Mm. It's always hard to get seed mm. and they're always unreliable. Whereas in the laboratory, we know exactly what we're getting. We, we can time the production right down without worrying about the vulgaries of uh, weather, it upsetting our seed trees uh, or bringing in disease in seed. We know that we are completely disease free. Is this uh, avocado tree? These are beautiful avocado trees. Ah. Yeah. It's nice and green, uh, it's just well grown, it's grown in the right soil. See that beautiful red soil? That's mm. what we want. Well drained, rich soil grows your best avocados and gives you a good flavour too. Mm. And that's very, very important. Mm. How old is this tree? These are five years old. Five? Five years old. Yeah. Oh. So that, this is a good size. With the right type of pruning, which they're doing here, we can keep them at that height. If they get too high, they're too expensive to uh, harvest, but we've kept it down to about this height with constant pruning and it stays in full production. Mm. And we need the sunlight coming right into the tree. Then you want your fruit all the way down. You don't want just the true tree uh, fruit growing up the top there. It's got to be right down to the ground so that you're going to get maximum production of your orchard. Uh, what's a Yunnan avocados taste uh, compared with overseas avocados? They taste better. When they're coming from overseas, they travel too far, too long. Mm -hmm. They don't taste real good. No, these are the best I've tasted. Oh, there's a huge advantage here. Yeah, you're close to the markets. And that, that's always important. And uh, I don't know, I, I just feel that your climate is perfect, your people really nice, everybody's integrated well, and it is the agricultural or the horticultural state. I love Barna, it's a beautiful city. A little bit hot, but we've got varieties that will grow good in the hot and varieties that will grow good in the cold. And here is sort of the right, perfect place to start. You're going to have the best avocado industry in the world. If I bring my knowledge here, like I've been doing it for so long and I've made so many mistakes, I can help you not make those mistakes. And with the beautiful technology in China and your work ethics, we're going to make a very, very big industry here. Come to Mongolian County and I do see some problems here. 
and I can help with these. I've got the experience with doing this and I can certainly help solve these problems. Mm. So, they like you very much. <laughs> they need your help. Well, everybody needs help and I think here we can work together to solve these problems. Sometimes it's hard to me to understand exactly why the problems occurred until I talk to the growers and once they talk to me about what's happening uh, or why it's happened, then I can help them solve the problem. Well, I've made about just every mistake you can make with growing avocados and I've learned from that. And I've brought in my research people and talked to a lot of other people and now usually I can see what a problem is and I can help them because I've been there. And that's the important part of actually having the experience of making the mistakes and hoping that I can help people not make those mistakes. I can see them happening and then I talk, talk to them and I show them what we can do and it'll make so much better. It'll make the avocado industry so much better. So I want to know what's your future plan in Yunnan? I want to start my laboratory here at Yunnan and help the farmers develop the orchards. I've got a lot of experience. Uh, you know, that's 65 years of experience and I have friends all over the world uh, in research and on farms uh, who I can get more advice from if I need to. I can't hold everything in my head, so, but I've all got to get the backup of a lot of scientists around the world. Hmm, you're our friend. So how long will you stay here? Ah, uh, well, I intend to spend about six months every year, every year but I'll come back with reports, not just in the one time but uh, whenever I see the need to progress further here, I'll be here.